holding my ball to her heart. The mic is on. <laughs> I really wanted to test the Aperture 300D, but as Cafe Brews didn't have it, I wanted to get my hands on the 120D. I've used both of these for some time now, both for the vlog and commercial projects. In the end, I've decided to buy the 120D, but here are my thoughts on both products. Okay. Light is an interesting thing, much like watching a fire. There's something deeply fascinating with beautiful light. It could be sunlight shining through a window or just fire. That's a light in itself. So this is the good part about these lights, the LEDs. You can power them with a battery. Aperture wins hands down. It's a really awesome product that has really solid build quality and much more features. I especially love that it comes with a V-lock mount and a dimmer, something I think should be a standard on a light in this price range. The GN Bay really suffers here. We saw it clearly when we tried to mount the standard reflector that came with the Aperture light and it got stuck. That's not the type of light I'm gonna recommend. <laughs> Both lights are pretty color accurate, but the Jinbei is 150 watt versus the Aperture is 120 watt. So I think the Jinbei has the upper hand here. But I did use both lights to try to light a scene in a car, as it would be sunlight coming through a window. Both worked really well for that. But then I could get up close. What I dislike about them is that they spread the light too much. I'm eager to try the Fresnel adapter from Aperture to fix this, to get it more focused. But for now it's a bit all over the place. What you do get in this price range that you don't get in a cheaper one is acceptable quality on all fronts. Often build quality and light quality suffers on cheaper lights. Here I tried to see if the light could imitate sunlight coming through a light curtain to break up the light. It worked fine with the Jinbei. I used this technique on a commercial shoot too. I felt it was a bit weak then, but because it competed with the daylight outside. So for this I think I would have loved to have the Aperture 300D. Cheap lights usually have fan noise. Both of these have some noise, but I don't think any of them will ruin a shoot. Given that the aperture can be used with a silent mode where it really isn't detectable, this one goes to the aperture. See, you can't put display in. Yeah, I think Det ser bra ut nu. So final thoughts. As I said, I'm buying the aperture light. Much because of the build quality. I would love if it was a 150 watt light, but I can live with it being 120 given that the build quality is so good. A major reason for me going with the 120D is the V-lock mount with a dimmer. I've really adapted my lighting gear to be more mobile. So buying a 150 watt light that you don't power with a simple V-lock battery is a big no-no for me. Okay, hope this helps you pick the right light. Let me know in the comments if there are other lights you want me to try out. Alright, see you next week. It's a good day for the road.